Hi folks, this is Holy Fruit and today I'm going to show you the biggest flower and the biggest bloom in the world in their natural habitat. By the way, both are potentially edible. Well, in the background I'm sure you can all spot the Rafflesia. Well, in the foreground there is kind of an un unspectacular leaf, which is a baby plant of Amorphophallus. Amorphophallus titanum, the biggest bloom in the world, about 3 meters in size. It totally dwarfs the Rafflesia with its, yeah, up to 80, 90 centimeters. This one is right now less than a meter. But it's crazy that the two biggest contestants for biggest flower in the world just grow a couple centimeters, well, just grow two meters apart. They are both potentially edible. Rafflesia produces big fruits similar to big figs which are actually being eaten by mammals. If something is being eaten by mammals there is at least a slight chance it could be eaten by humans. Well Amorphophallus being in the Areishi. Uh, is it in the Areishi? Well definitely yeah yes it is in the Areishi. There is interesting stuff like taro in the Areishi which can be which can be eaten after proper processing. And it's being said that in times of famine, people have actually processed and eaten Amorphophallus too. Also, unfortunately, impressive stuff is usually being used by somebody for medicine. So those things are being poached on a large scale for so-called traditional medicine. It was totally worth it. What do you smell like now? Come on. Hmm. <clears throat> nah, it smells different from those other thingies. And also, uh, folks, I want to show you something very sad here. This was my everyday experience when I was searching for rare orchids long time ago in a different millennium. Yeah, well, imagine like this is, imagine this Rafflesia is a nice beautiful orchid. Tons of people flocking here to see it. Tons of people admiring, photographing it. They are considering themselves great Rafflesia lovers. Even the, the local stuff, they are doing everything to protect it, putting this big this big uh, basket over the Rafflesia so that it doesn't get destroyed. Putting a nice little sign here. Well, everything, everything checks out, right? Where's the sad part? Well, the sad part is right when I stumbled, I saw this. See, everybody is getting, is stepping right here, right in front of the flower. To take the pictures and admire it. Flattening the little baby Rafflesia flower. Well, it's not a baby, it's a butt. The little butt. Yeah, to an almost irrecognizable state. That's what I saw all the time with orchid photographers in the 20th century. And yeah, it happens all the time. You go for the big, beautiful main attraction which is going to last just for a couple days, but then you're destroying the main attractions of the future. That's why, for example, in uh, the German nature conservation law, when something is strictly protected, like this is the highest protection stages, you are not allowed to approach it in order to film it. Of course, this is mostly being done to save animals so that you don't uh, scare nesting birds or make rare animals run away. But it would also help plants like this Rafflesia. And yeah, this thing would probably still be alive. I think it was still okay while the basket was here. But the basket was removed this early morning. So <laughs> all this damage was probably done during the last two hours. Well, anyways, folks, Rafflesia, the biggest flower in the world. It's a bit anti-climatic, it's, how big is it, 
over a foot across, maybe 40 centimeters across, but still not so gigantic. I've seen much bigger inflorescences and blooms and stuff. It is nice, it is beautiful, it looks crazy. It smells different than those two different spots where I found some smells. I guess I was smelling something else. Maybe some fruit-eating animal took a poop. Let's look at it from the inside. Beautiful. The fruit is eaten by mammals, by the way. This is always an interesting thing. This means that if it's eaten by mammals, it can be potentially eaten by humans. Fortunately, the plant is so rare because, well, it needs some jungle to exist. You destroy the jungle, you destroy the rafflesia. Fortunately, it's so rare that I guess I will never ever be able to taste the to taste the fruit but that's okay sometimes that's okay so beautiful rafflesia on the way back i'll show you a glimpse of amorphophallus rafflesia is the biggest flower in the world amorphophallus is the biggest uh, bloom or uh, or yeah it's a little bit of a, uh, it's a little bit of a tricky botanical definition anyway this one though considerably smaller is considered the biggest flower the other one though considerably bigger is considered the biggest bloom it's growing right over there less than 10 meters away from the rafflesia right now it's not flowering and also it's a puny specimen this single leaf here is about my size a really titanic specimen of amorphophallus titanum the biggest species in the genus would be twice my height the peduncle of the leaf would be much thicker than my arm and also the flower would be about three meters high but here you can see amorphophallus and traflesia growing like seven meters apart so folks those were the two biggest flowers in the world. Well, the biggest flower and the biggest bloom in the world, with people trampling on some, on some uh, of the young rafflesia. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos. Oh, actually, wait. The rafflesia is here, and less than two meters away from it is the next tiny baby amorphophallus. This one will have many years before it blooms. And here the next one. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful and incredibly fruit, fruit and flower rich uh, uh, tropical rainforest of Borneo or the little parts of it which are still left. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.